guys, I'm back with another tutorial, um, a Lua tutorial. I have been absent on YouTube for around four months now, and I have received a lot of requests for me to get active again. And, um, so I asked a lot of people what, um, what kind of tutorial they wanted me to do. And they said GUI, uh, GUI tutorial. So, um, that's what I will be doing. Um, again, I'm really sorry for being absent for like four months, um, but I'm back. So, go to start a GUI, and by the way, we are going to script this. Um, go to explore, start a GUI, and then go to basic objects and insert a screen GUI. This does nothing to your screen. Um, yeah, so it does nothing. It's just a, it just identifies it. So, um, insert a frame into screen GUI, and now you see a little white box on the top left of my screen. Um, so, yeah. You're going to want to go down to its properties, and I'm going to explain something if you don't already know how, uh, what this means. So, it will um, be set as a hundred offset for default and a hundred offset or uh, it's both a hundred offset so what offset is is it's just like pixels really and so like this is a hundred pixels uh, yeah that's a hundred or one thousand nine hundred and twenty pixels at zero um but it's just a, the amount of pixels. Scale is what I always use. And scale is a percentage of what your screen size is. So if you do 0 0.5 and 1. So on the x-axis, which is um, left or right, it's going to go from, it's going to go halfway. It's going to go 50% of your screen. So 0 0.5 is 50% for scale. And on the y-axis, which is up and down, um, it's going to go to a hundred percent, so that's um, why you know it takes up the y-axis of my screen. Um, be so because it's a percentage, you can like say you're on a uh, my device or something. Um, it would look something like that, um, but it's still takes 50% of your screen so it doesn't matter what screen size it is um it will look the same so that's why I like scale so let's just make it the frame take out the whole screen and let's change the color to a light blue or whatever color you want and so there you go that's a frame inside of screen GUI so we can insert a text box or yeah text box right down here and again they default it with offset which I don't like to use like I said um, earlier so we're just going I'm going to resize it to what I want text scaled um, testing very easy um, some of the cool properties that I like is text filter transparency so change that to zero and change the text stroke color to any color you want really but it makes it um it strokes it around the text text stroke it's the name um anyways but i just think it gives it a really cool look but um image label Image labels come really handy. They are for the more experienced UI users. So um, I, I would actually recommend using them because they help quite a bit. But um, yeah, they just help quite a bit. Yeah, let me change this to one. There we go. So a lot of people don't know how to um, use image label and I'm going to show you that right now. Insert a part into workspace and go to Roblox whoops sorry and you should go to your profile then go to inventory and select decals um, and create one 
I would recommend P um, PNG, a dot PNG image because they support background transparency and I think they render a lot nicer than JPEG or any other image extensions. So, anyways, um, put your decal. So once you uploaded your decal, you should go to Toolbox Inventory, uh, My Decals which would be your decals but it's called my decals <laughs> and um and put the decal on a part open that part up and select decal and right where it says texture copy this link okay now make the frame visible again and go to image label and the default for that is it looks like that with a roblox um sign on it but we're going to change that and you can just change it by deleting what was previously there and press paste or control V and there you go now um, now this image over on my decals is on the screen GUI so um, yeah that's how you do that guys and um, we are going to be scripting this so I'm just going to make the size of this 0.2 and 0.2 also so um yeah let's see I think I can do this I'm not quite sure but insert a local script into frame and I apologize but um I forgot how far we got into um, Lua, so I'm going to re-explain quite a bit of stuff that you guys probably already know. So, um, sorry about that, but um, put local player local. Just it makes it more efficient, so it makes the script run better. So whenever you identify identify a variable, always put local. Um, local player equals script which is local script dot parent which is frame dot screen G or uh, dot parent another parent which is screen GUI and the parent of screen GUI um, is player GUI it's not starter GUI because you gotta remember that this screen GUI is going to be parented inside player GUI so um, if it's inside player GUI the parent of screen GUI will be player GUI. Um, I don't know if that made sense or not. Um, so parent, parent, parent. So we're at player GUI dot parent, which is the actual player itself. Script dot parent dot parent dot parent dot parent. Script dot parent dot parent dot parent dot parent. So the parent of player GUI is the player itself. Um, repeat, wait until player dot character. Um, whoops. So this is just gonna make sure the player is loaded. Um, you could do you could use wait for data ready. But I don't do I don't use that. So we're going to go to your browser and go to Roblox Wiki and um, you guys may have been here but it's very useful. It doesn't look like it would help you but believe it or not it does. So we're going to go to tween um, position. Did I spell position right? I don't know. okay I did so I will leave this link up here guys in the description so don't let this like don't let this scare you or anything because I will walk right through it with you um, I think this is one of the only YouTube videos that um, explains this um, but it's actually self-explanatory but anyways so um, we're going to be editing. We really didn't even have to call local player, but um, yeah, I really don't know why I even um did that. But 
okay, so this is the GUI. So we're going to do player dot um player GUI dot screen S E R E E N screen GUI dot frame. Um let's do local local GUI equals yeah so GUI and I'm just going to copy this off so GUI tween position and now we have a um, udim2 or udim2 dot new value I think udim2 stands for universal dimension I'm not sure on that um, udim2 dot new and so, um, I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. So, um, where was I? Okay, U, um, D I M two I think stands for universal dimension. But what this value you're going to insert in here, um, what you're going to insert in here is where you want the GUI to go. So, um, or the frame, I should say. So, you may not understand that, but if we want it to go to 0 0.8, no, not that. Let's make it go to the center. It won't be exactly in the center, but, um, so that's close enough in the center, I think. <laughs> okay, so we're going to copy the position because, so, where it was was up here and where it's going to go is right there where it is right now so um yeah now we're going to paste that um that position inside the udim 2new um, arguments and we're going to delete the parameters um so it should look something like this but uh yeah so now that we have that out of the way the next argument in tween position is going to be well i forgot what it is so that's why we have the wiki okay okay so easing direction um it's really self-explanatory um yeah so i always use out and in i don't use in out or out in um, but so we can just put out um, and the next argument is easing style and so um, it gives you a name and I always use quad so it starts off fast and gradually slows down after GUI reaches um, one fourth of the way towards the end point um, but I guess I really do want to use quad because um, yeah we're going to use that so um, quad and then the last argument I know for sure is the amount of seconds it's going to go from this current position down to 0 0.5 comma 0 comma 0 0.5 comma 0 so let's make it have what, five seconds in between that transition. So we're going to wait 10 seconds and we'll see what we have. Um, yeah, everything should work. Okay. It's going to wait five seconds. And there you go. It moves to that position. So, um, and it waits five seconds from the starting position until the UI moves. So it is a really awesome feature in GUIs. So like, um, they have tween, um, tween size which is just like tween um, position 
and they also have tween size and position um, which looks complicated I have never used it but uh, yeah I'm pretty sure it's probably cool um, but I'm going to use bounce um, so I think that would mean that the positions get all 0 0.9 0 0.8 okay 0 0.8 I'm going to change this to 0 0.8 and um, change that to just 0 <coughs> and change the mode to bounce so I think um, you guys will like oh when I said it'll wait 5 seconds it actually waits 10 seconds but um, yeah, so that's why it took long. Anyways, it's going to bounce the GUI, and I think you guys will like how it looks. <clears throat> looks pretty cool to me. Um, yeah, so that's... A gun whoa okay so that's an example of GUI's so I think we fit this all in one video so um so 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 um yeah I'm not sure what else you guys you want me to teach you guys um so that's it for this tutorial guys Thanks for watching. Please um, like and subscribe um, to me. So, yeah. Peace.